everybody. Welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. So what am I bringing to you today? Today I'm bringing to you kind of a different video, but it's a video that I really wanted to bring to you because I think that it might help some people and some people might find it useful. And I am bringing to you a remembrance box. These are boxes that I have put together because as most of you know, and if you don't know, my sister just recently passed away right before Christmas at a pretty young age. And like I said, it was unexpected. And she leaves behind three amazing kids, Hayden, who's 17, Aubrey, who's 13, and Talene, who is 12. And so because I love my nieces and nephews so much, I'm their godmother. I, I felt that in my heart, I really wanted to do something for them for the future, for that day when for that day when they're gonna wish their mom was there, whether it's the day they graduate from high school or maybe the day that they get married and they're gonna wish that their mom was there with them, this is gonna be a day that I would like to give them these boxes that I'm putting together now for them. And these boxes are going to consist of items that I found in my sister's house while cleaning her house out. And I really wanted to collect these items and I divided them up amongst the three boxes as to what was fitting for who. And I found some really amazing things that I really wanted to share with you. Items that I think that if you have a loved one or someone special that has passed in your life and you wanna to put together a remembrance box, this could give you some ideas of what to put in there for somebody. It really is pretty easy to do. I did buy some stuff at Michael's that I will be incorporating into these boxes and uh, some remembrance necklaces as well. And so yeah, this was something that I really felt strongly that I wanted to do. And so these are boxes that I'm gonna hold on to for however many years that I need to. And when I feel the time is right, I'm gonna give them to each one of the kids probably at different times in their lives. And I think that it's something that they're truly gonna appreciate and value. And so uh, let's jump into it. Let me show you some of the ideas I had and what I used for the box. And you too might find this useful and decide you wanna to put together a remembrance box as well. So let's jump into it. Alrighty, so I guess I'll start off with, um, on each box I wanted to put the kids' names. And it really uh, wasn't anything special that I used. I used cardstock and my Cricut to personalize their boxes and to adhere their names onto each box, I just used a spray adhesive. Uh, you could very easily use a permanent vinyl if you had it. I didn't have the colors that I needed on hand to do that and I had the card stock, so spray adhesive works just as well. And so that's what I did for each of them. Hayden is her son and so I decided to go with the blue theme. I just thought that these were such nice boxes. I love the idea of a box suitcase and yeah, I was happy with these for this. Each box is individualized for the kids, and so um, they each have different contents, and that was important to me. I didn't want them to all have the exact contents. I tried to really incorporate uh, things from Dina's childhood into each, and so this was her high school uh, senior class picture. For my family, I've made each of the girls and the women aprons and my sister loved this idea and so I gave Hayden her apron and maybe he'll give it to his daughter or his wife but this was something that my sister really liked and so we all have the same fabric and the same apron. This Dragonfly was a trinket that she had around her house because my sister was so into dragonflies and butterflies. She believed that they were a sign of something good or positive. And so she had stuff like that around the house and outside. And so I felt like it was really important to incorporate something that meant so much to her 
into their boxes because I know that as soon as Hayden sees these, he's gonna remember his mom and dragonflies and he will probably even remember this piece from her house. I did purchase some remembrance necklaces. I felt like it was important. It might be something that they will value and appreciate someday. And so for Hayden, I wanted to go the more masculine route. And so I got him this, I guess it's a bullet shape with a cross and it's black. At Michael's, their photo albums were 50% off and I really wanted to pick up one for each of the kids. And so uh, when I was going through Dina's house, I, I found all of her pictures that she had developed. And so I went through all of the pictures. I divided them up and separated them by each child with her. I really am thinking that right before they get married, I'm gonna give these to them maybe the night before their wedding night on a day that they're gonna wish Dina was there with them. Wasn't she beautiful? My beautiful sister. And so I, I put one of her wedding pictures that was just absolutely gorgeous on the front page. And I did the first couple pages with just her and her and their dad. And um, from there, I just uh, really wanted to make sure that I had pictures of her and each kid in here with that individual kid, I guess I should say. And so this album is filled with all of the pictures that I found with her and Hayden. And I think he's really gonna cherish this. I think it's gonna be amazing. Isn't she beautiful? So yeah. I even incorporated uh, little cherished gifts that they had made for Dina in school. You know, we all as parents love those gifts that our kids bring to us for Mother's Day and Valentine's Day and Christmas. And so uh, this is one that her son had made her. And you know, I'm gonna share this with you because it really, it touched my heart and it really brought tears to my eyes. This was from Hayden. I don't know when Hayden had made this. The card says, even when you die, you are always my mom. And so there were keepsakes that I found that were like this that I incorporated into each of their boxes. And one of the last things that I was so, so, so gracious to find and thankful that I found were these keepsakes for mother-to-be journals. Uh, my sister did one for each of her kids, whether it was a mother-to-be journal or the first year, she had done one for each of them and I found them. And so I just thought like, wow, what an amazing gift to give the kids someday when they're missing her and wanting her around to be able to go back and read what she wrote about them, read what she was thinking, read what she was feeling. I can't wait for the day to come when I get to give these to the kids. I really can't, I'm even in here. She had talked about me in here. Their ultrasound pictures. I found ultrasound pictures of each of the kids as well. Such a fantastic gift to give them. They are going to cherish this, I just know it. And there are other things in this box. Hayden's soccer uh, necklaces that she had that I thought he would like. My sister was really into rocks and writing that was on rocks. For whatever reason, it was something she just loved. And so uh, I found a bunch of these at her house and gave the kids each one of these rocks. It, it was like it was meant to be. There was a rock for each kid. And she also had these type of rocks that I incorporated into their box. And for each of the kids, I was able to find their first haircut that she had saved and put into an envelope for them. Isn't that awesome? And for the girls, I picked up two of this photo album that says every picture tells a story and um, also filled it for them as well. And their keepsake necklaces, I just, these are absolutely gorgeous. 
When I saw these, I knew that these were what I needed to buy. It's a heart here in the center, and this is where her ashes are. My sister loved angels, and so these angel wings go on each side of the heart, and inside the heart, it says, Mom. I bought five that say sister, because my sister had other brothers and sisters that live in Cabo San Lucas, and so I mailed them some of these necklaces as well. And on the back here, there's a charm that says, I used to be her angel, now she's mine. This was another fantastic find that I was super excited about. My sister had a charm bracelet and she had charms of the silhouettes of each of the kids and she had their name engraved on it. And so I took the charms off for each of the kids and by them, she had these love and live charms next to them and so I took the charms off that were next to their silhouette and so I put them in these bags in each of their boxes as well. And for her jewelry she was really into beads and the beads were healing beads or mood beads and so I divided up all her jewelry and all the bead bracelets and put them into baggies for them. I divided up all of her fun rings that she had and so each of the kids, mostly Aubrey and Tallinn, will get some of her jewelry, or all of her jewelry, just split up. And I think that this is stuff, again, that I think that they're gonna value and cherish when they get older, that they're not really gonna see the value in now, but they'll be thankful for it later. I don't know, weird to some. My sister had several pair of glasses and, um, so I bagged up her glasses and each of the kids got a pair of her glasses. And for the girls, here's Tallinn's box that I made up basically the same way, just with uh, lots of fun things that I found at Dina's house and I used a glitter scrapbooking paper uh, to put her name. And for the girls, I decided that I found these butterflies at Michael's. It's a 24 pack. I think it was like $6.99. My sister again was huge into butterflies and dragonflies like I said and so I wanted to add these to the top of the box just to kind of tie in more of my sister into the box. And I've got Aubrey's box here. And so that is what I did for Hayden, Aubrey, and Tallinn. I'm really happy with the outcome of these boxes and I'm happy with the contents of what is inside of them. And like I said earlier, I really think that these are boxes that are gonna have a lot of value and meaning to them at the right time in their life. Um, I will tell you now, um, this next part of the video, if it is too morbid for you, you might wanna click off because I wanted to share with you that I did have my sister cremated upon her wishes. This is what she wanted was to be cremated and I personally uh, did not feel comfortable spreading her ashes because I just didn't want to quite honestly. And um, I, I just, I don't know, I just didn't want to do it. And I didn't feel right about it. It didn't feel good to me in my heart. And so along with that came with, what am I gonna do with my sister's ashes? I'm not the type of person who wants to display urns in my house. Um, I have a miniature one of my mom of a remembrance that my stepdad gave to me. And I just, I, I don't, I just didn't want another urn in my house. And so I don't want it out where everybody is seeing what it is. I just wanted it to be, you know what, there's Dina. I know that Dina is there. That was my sister, Dina Marie. And I want, it to just be for the family to know that that's where she's at and nobody else needed to know. And so after having her cremated, um, they, they typically come in a plastic box. It's nothing real fancy. And that, that just felt uh, to me as well. And so I did what I know how to do. And so I picked up this amazing box at Michael's 
and this was what was suiting to me. It was nothing fancy, it was 50% off. I think I spent like $10 on it. And I bought things that would suit the decor of my home. I bought some burlap and fabric flowers. Um, I bought some butterflies because uh, my sister was really big into butterflies and dragonflies and that they were a sign of happiness and peace and something good to happen. And uh, she was like that for as long as I can remember. And so uh, every time I see a butterfly and a dragonfly, I'm gonna remember her and think of her. And so it was important to me to incorporate that into this. And so I stuck her ashes in the box that they came in inside this beautiful box. And this box is sitting on a shelf on a table in our living room. And nobody but my family and all of you people watching YouTube, <laughs> I guess, will know what's in this box. And so, um, I do want to say also that I felt like it was important because her kids are so young that I felt that um, spreading her ashes just wasn't right, that I, I shouldn't be in charge of that. You know, she was my sister, yes, and I was the next of kin because both her parents had passed away. And our mom and her dad passed away. And so I just felt like, you know, it should be up to the kids someday and maybe someday the kids are gonna want this, want, you know, this box. And so I wanna have it for them. And if someday her kids want to spread her ashes, then that's fine. You know, I am fine with that. It really is just up to them. And so for right now, I just feel like as her sister, I am the keeper of her and um, I'm just the keeper until her kids are ready to either take her or do with her what they see fit. And so I hope that that wasn't too morbid with you. I just felt like opening up about that and being raw and honest and really for people who don't have a lot of money, you don't have to spend a ton of money on something, you know, like an urn. You can do something like this and it's just as meaningful, if not more, because it was something that you put together and that was kind of how I felt about this. My sister loved my crafting, she loved my DIYs, she loved anything that I made her. And so I felt like this was suiting and I'm happy. I'm at peace with her here in this house that she liked to come visit. And yeah. So I hope that you all found today's video informative and that it helped you through one of your trying hard times. So I'm just gonna say that if you are somebody who's going through a hard time, my heart and my thoughts and my prayers are with you. And it gives me a heavy heart because this is not a fun chapter of my life that I'm going through. Thank you all for watching today and I hope that you have a fantastic day. Go hug your loved ones and Bye for now, everybody.